Potluck in the Park is a non-denominational, uh, grassroots, all-volunteer organization. And our mission is to feed anyone in need on Sunday afternoon. We've been doing it for 20 years. We've never missed a meal. We've never turned anyone away. I'm Sherry Baber, Potluck in the Park board chair and newly appointed operations director. We can serve up to and over a thousand guests on a Sunday. Recently we had 751 guests that we gave tickets to. Sunday is D-Day. At the kitchen starting around 9 o'clock in the morning, they start bringing out all of the whole cantaloupes, whole melons, cut up fruit that's been prepped and start putting all that together. They start putting the pans in the ovens and start loading the truck. About 12, 30, 1 o'clock, we start setting up here at the park, getting our tables in order. And then at 3 o'clock, all the food has arrived, all the staging is done. 5 o'clock, we send all the dirty dishes and recycling to the kitchen for final KP. Our food comes from various community partners, such as uh, the Oregon Food Bank, Birch Community Services in Gresham, and St. Cecilia's Food Pantry in Beaverton. We have some guests who have been with us the entire 20 years, but they're no longer just guests, they're also volunteers. So potluck's more than just food, it's a sense of community too. I'm often asked about the future of potluck and my response is that we'd like to close our doors and that would mean that we've fulfilled our mission and there's no more hunger in our community. But um, we all know that that's not in our foreseeable future and so our mission is to keep doing what we're doing. Potluck's always looking for volunteers. So don't think that just being on site and serving a meal is volunteering because donations are part of volunteering. We need big quantities of things. When you're serving 500 guests, you know, a donation of, you know, 10 cans of soup doesn't go very far. But a donation of $10 means that I can go and buy a large quantity of soup. We're also looking for donations from people with professional skills, such as legal, or fundraising skills. Besides closing our doors eventually, our long-range goal would be to have a, a place of our own. You know, we're trying to keep things as close and as tight as possible in how we spend our money because we don't have a lot of money. 